got this piece from my kid's piano teacher. She got it from a friend that didn't want it anymore. So what I've done is I have sanded because it's that it's this weird plastic plastic top and it's underneath it is MDF right but the trim here is real wood the legs are real wood most of the frame is real wood as well but it's a combination of real wood and MDF yes my old friend <laughs> MDF <laughs> we all know how I feel about MDF so I have sanded scuff sanded the top and sanded right back to the raw wood on the legs because I'm going to do a wash on the legs and I'm all about the washes lately I'm going to be painting the rest of it in Dixie Bells sorry the place that I get it from is a farm and they have chicks so I get chick dust all over <laughs> Hampton Olive in silk because it has a built-in primer and a built-in top coat it's an all-in-one mineral paint easy project today I want it easy after that thing and all the stress that I went through for it I want it easy so I am using my vintage tonality paintbrush chalk paintbrush so I'm gonna get on first coat and then I'm going to go pick up another piece of furniture. <laughs> mm. oh, there we go. See how it's watery on top? The silk paint, right, it separates. So that's the chalk underneath. And you've got to give it a really good stir in. You do not want to just dip in that and start painting. Because you need your... need it mixed through properly. I'm going to put it down. Sometimes I have been known to just let go of things. <laughs> I'll be walking to the, through the shops and I'll just let go of my wallet and my wallet will go flying. I just wipe paint on my face. <sighs> it's been a day, I tell you. I've only really worked with silk paint one other time before but I do know that it sets really quickly so you don't have a lot of work time like with regular chalk paint so you want to get it on there in nice thin coat and I'm painting in my good shirt oh, Pete's sake why do I keep doing this to myself to do it when I started painting the drawers but I'm gonna mix up my Bondo to close up the hole. because so, sometimes when you, I don't do that it pops through the back
holes plugged. Give it a stir. Because it has that built-in top coat, you should really stir it if you like leave it for a couple of hours and you come back to it. You should really stir it again because you want to make sure that that top coat is spread through the paint really well. That paint coverage is superb. I really love it. I've done two coats. I'm gonna let that dry. And I think I may do a third coat on the top. We'll just see what it looks like. But I'm definitely going to top coat the top. Just because even though it's got a built-in top coat, I want it extra protected. So I'm going to do um, probably a satin, a clear satin just on the top. Yesterday I was in Walmart. They have a rust -Oleum wood stain, antique white. The good thing about silk paint is that if I do get some on it, it wipes off really easily because with the built-in top coat. followed immediately the piece that I did for the $100 challenge and 
I needed something simple and quick and easy and that silk paint by Dixie Belle with the built-in top coat was exactly what I needed to finish and complete this desk. The color Hampton Olive is so beautiful. It's a, it's a color that's really in right now. I also wanted to jump on and say thank you to Lenitra, Cassandra, and Sandy. And an anonymous person who wanted to remain anonymous. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate your support. Uh, they are some supporters this week from my Buy Me A Coffee and I just really am humbled that uh, you guys did that and very grateful. So thank you very much. If you've gotten this far in the video, I hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up. Comment below. I absolutely love interacting and hearing your opinions and ideas and tips and tricks and uh, anything. Uh, I love interacting with you guys that way. If you haven't already, come on over and subscribe. That would be amazing. I would love to have you over here regularly. I upload every Wednesday at 3 p.m. And I hope to see you on next week's piece, guys. Bye.